Hey Nene Squad, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be six things that small YouTubers need to stop doing. And this can go for big YouTubers too. But I've been seeing a lot of these small YouTubers doing way too much. And I'm I'm just going to have to tell y'all. Because man, like some of y'all just kind of starting to fit in with these big YouTubers. And get yourself together. So you know how I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get y'all together. Long intros. Get to the point. If it's not a talking video, say it's a hair video or a makeup video or something like a DIY or something. I don't need to be listening to your video that's going like this. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day two, day three, day four. Like, shut up. Get to the point. I'm not finna be watching your video. And it's like, the intro is like five minutes long. If it's not informative, it needs to go. I didn't come to watch you talk. I don't like where this is going. Stop! Right. Stop! No. When I say that, like, also you are a small YouTuber, so you don't really have an audience to just be sitting there talking. But honestly, when big YouTubers be talking in their intros too, I be skip, skip, skip. But especially for the small YouTubers, because that actually knocks your viewing down. Like, people just don't want to watch you no more because you talk too dang much. You talking way too much or you being too much in your intro. Be yourself. Stop trying to be these YouTubers. Some YouTubers try to, like, do certain things that other big YouTubers do. Like, that's... That YouTuber. That's not you. That's, we already have that one YouTuber that's on this platform. We don't need no more. Plout chasing. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna address something. Okay, so I'm not gonna put the girl name in there or anything because I ain't got time for the beat. But basically, this whole Cardi B and offset crap, that like, that goes left. Literally left. Like, like some of the stuff that people be saying about celebrities other youtubers just to get clout off just to get known from like that's not cool and if you think that you finna be successful off of that off of lies think again like your blessings don't come off of lies let me tell you when you be lying and stuff actually people just look at you differently and don't really want to support you and actually like have animosity towards you then you be wondering why why everybody got animosity towards me da -da 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 -da. That's because you're doing too much. Just be yourself. Stop cloud chasing. If it's not the truth, if it don't pertain to Anaya, I don't talk about it. Here's you. Drinking my water, man, in my business. Lie in the title. So, like, I'll be watching a story time like, oh, I got robbed. And the video don't even be about them being robbed. That's era. Like, that would piss me off. I would click out of your video and I would never watch your stuff again because now I know you a liar. A lot of small YouTubers do this. Stop stealing other people's ideas. Like, have, be original. Be yourself. You know, have your unique juices flowing. Like, don't be doing that. You see somebody else doing it or like, I, it happened to me before. Like, I would post like what I would do on my channel or what I'm thinking about doing. Somebody else already knocked me to my vision. Like, what? That's why I don't even post my vision anymore. I just, boom. There you go. Just be original. Also, if you're inspired by somebody, just say I was inspired by whoop de woo and do the tutorial, the video. Like, you don't always have to be, you know, you can be inspired without trying to steal anybody's juices, you know? Like, er? I know y'all see me when I do like makeup videos or hair videos or something. I'll be like, I was inspired by blah, 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 or I'll post it on my Instagram or whatever. But at least everybody know I was inspired. So nobody can say, oh, Anaya just stole this idea. Six, humble thyself. Humble thyself. Some of y'all, like, I be literally seeing y'all, like, y'all be talking mad crap to y'all subscribers. Little do y'all know, y'all wouldn't be anywhere. Your views wouldn't even be there. Like, nothing would be there if it wasn't for your subscribers. So, like, some of y'all be doing way too much. I see your subscribers. I be seeing them clapping, like saying certain stuff. Like you can tell when it's a genuine subscriber. Like sometimes a subscriber would try to help another YouTuber, and then they get all feisty and do all that other extra mess, and then like go at the subscriber. Then you losing a subscriber, and then the subscriber gonna probably feel some kind of way and start talking about you to other people. Then other people ain't gonna like you. So just be humble. Humble yourself. Levels to it. You and I know. Tell them be humble. Stop acting like you better than other people. Like, stop. Stop. Be yourself. But if you are like that, you're just not going to get anywhere in the YouTube community. Because, like, 
you're supposed to appreciate your subbies. So, you guys, my sister does have a boutique coming soon. And she's going to need brand ambassadors. She's going to need two of them. So if you would like to be a brand ambassador and you actually have to show your work, you got to be on Instagram about your business. If you would like to be one of those two, please make sure you DM me on Instagram and I will give you the information all about it. And so if you want to be... A brand ambassador, DM me on Instagram at alwaysanea and I'll get you the information. Yeah, thank you all for watching this video. I was too much. Y'all know how I am in my videos. I be way too much. I be turn up, turn up. Let me stop. Okay, turns up like I am right now. I'm finna go drink me something because I'm thirsty. But um, yeah, so don't forget to smash on that subscribe button, like this video, and comment if you really agree what I'm talking about. Like, are you are you here with me? But yeah, bye.